Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, Matthew Sengati, the designer and developer from South Africa, back with another tutorial. This is Core Design, where I teach coding and user interface design. We are creating a WhatsApp web UI clone. This is where we want to go. And guess what? This is where we are. This looks awesome. Maybe I'm some sort of overrating myself, but I, I have all the rights to remember I'm not a pro. If I was a pro, this was going to be a small thing. But to me and you, people who are learning, who want to become better developers, for us, this is awesome. Okay, let's continue, guys. Okay, so uh, we only need uh, these icons and then we are done. Okay, first things first, I think this border, as you can see, it's all over the place. Let's fix that. Uh, we want it to be only on the right side. Let's go and check the green um section as you can see we've got two borders we've got border which is around and then we've got um, some sort of border left of which is supposed to be border right okay and we have to remove this border let's check it okay let's refresh and see okay as you can see there's nothing here it's only here i'm happy with that and then now what we are going to do guys we need to be smart around this part okay so what we are going to do we are going to create a json um array here okay i can avoid this c so i have to type it here const okay meaning that uh, this is a constant uh let's say constant paths okay equal to and then uh, let's have a JSON object, okay? And then um, we are going to say D, okay? Um, dot dot, and then that's what we are going to do, okay? And then this is not going to be D; it has to be meaningful. This is moon, okay? So if this is moon, what we are going to do? We are going to take the path for the moon, which is this one. Okay, guys, then copy it, and then instead of this, we open and close curly braces if we want to put a JavaScript, and then we set that JSON object is path.moon. Okay, I hope this is clear, guys. We've got a JSON object here. Okay, this is a JSON object that has got moon. As the actual some sort of an SVG path or stroke lines and whatever okay uh, and also this is not moon okay okay and then we are using this uh, JSON object and we want on that JSON object instead of putting that actual string we are saying paths dot moon okay and that is it and then here we need to okay we need to delete this okay and then here we are going to say d dot dots okay and then we go to d dot dots so we look for dots here here are the dots copy the svg let's paste it here okay and then these are the dots that we want up until here cut this one remove press f5 so that it goes to where it was and then did i copy that i think so okay let's go back here and then when we are here we must always put a comma here okay we can even put it here comma and then we we'll say dots paste okay here are the dots okay so let's see guys if um everything is fine in the path we've got path dot moon and path dot dots let's go back and see if those things are there yes those things are there okay so now what we are going to do, we're just going to look for icons that look similar to these two, okay? Which on hero icons, we might not find those. So we're just going to 
have some look alike um, look alike icons and that's it uh, for now and then I will create those SVG icons and then we will replace them later okay let's take this one okay where is that D value I think it's this one okay starts from here up until where up until here okay okay and then let's go back here let's say this is a group uh, let's just say it's a group okay guys I hope you are following let's say comma let's say group paste it okay comma let's say msg then we'll paste uh, the MSG icon there. Okay, let's see an icon that uh, looks like um, a message or something. Mm, it looks like we don't have it here. Okay, let's just take any icon here. It doesn't have to look like that one. Let's just take an envelope, guys. Uh, I will I will recreate those uh, icon. I will recreate those icon on Figma, and then we will replace them. Okay. At the moment, we just want to continue with what we are busy with. Uh, let's keep. Let's keep going and flowing like water, guys. Okay. Okay, this is where I want to go and then this is MSG paste okay so what we are going to do as you can see now we are starting to some sort of use uh, the dry principle DRY do not repeat yourself because we've got one component and this one component uh, renders some sort of we are using it many times or multiple times here okay as you can see we can copy this Okay, the color remains the same, which is gray, but the dots now, it's not going to be the dot, it's going to be group. Okay, and let's put the group here. Okay, the group is here. And then from there, it's not going to be these dots, it's going to be MSG, which is that envelope MSG. Okay, let's go back and see as you can see here are our icons okay and then from there as you can see now the gap the distance between these okay now what we want to do we want to go to the parent which is flex and then we are going to say gap okay let's say gap of five okay let's see how big is that I think a gap of five it's a small let's try a gap of six and that will be it okay I'll be happy with that okay guys as you can see we've got um, a screen that looks exactly like this except the icons in terms of the icon I will go to Figma I will redesign these icons as they are okay since this is not a graphic design course uh, or lesson that's why I will just use some generic icons but I hope you can see the idea and where we are going okay now what we're going to do uh, in this video we're just going to create uh, this site <coughs> this site and then we are done okay just for the sake of uh, variety um, let's not use the same picture let's just organize another picture uh, of a kid and then uh, that will be it okay so that we can have the exact same look and feel okay let's move up let's say uh, kid profile picture okay let's see a kid that looks like that boy not at all Okay, the face they are facing on different sides. Okay, um, I think we can take this one. 
okay this one can work save as as profile tool okay guys i i hope you are getting that don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help me grow if you can please uh, share my content uh, with your friends obviously you can email me and ask me anything uh, you can check my about uh, on my uh, on the about section of this youtube channel you will see my email there then this is uh, a webp file okay let's try it and say profile to i think it will work too okay let's save this one as profile two what we are going to do we are going to copy okay now we are going to copy the image where is the image now okay yes i'm here okay here is the image okay okay so we need to copy this image okay copy this image to where to this site okay this is the right site okay let's paste it and then from there if it shows then we will just change the image not here okay it's not supposed to be here that's my mistake um, let's see this is the orange side no? where is the orange side is this one Okay, and then I'm looking for this. Okay, let's see in the orange side. Okay, I'm looking for this. This is where I want this to be. Okay, let's see. Hundred percent. This is where it is now. Let's change it to profile two. To profile two. Dot was the extension dot web p. Okay, let's see. 100% we've got the picture of this boy okay so as you can see there are similarities here between this one and this it's more like exact same thing okay there is a the name here and there's a big space uh, between okay so let's just quickly uh, do that okay um, let's surround this with a div okay with a div okay and then next to this let's say let's say h1 okay let's add an h1 and then the h1 will be john i'm not sure if you think it was john smith let's see if is it uh, john smith john smith yes let's close this coral draw thing or let's just leave it like that john smith and then let's just check here with our page here is john smith okay so okay so what we want to do now on john smith we want to add a class okay we want to add a class here okay and this class is number one I'm just guessing maybe there is a class called old I'm not sure if there is such on Tailwind CSS this is just a wild guess if that doesn't exist then let's just type here um, Google and uh, Tailwind old text yes bold text okay font bold okay let's go here and say font bold font bold okay let's see that's a okay and what we want now we want this to be next to each other i think guys now you get the idea of what's going on here we are going to display flex and we are going to have a gap and that is it guys nothing more nothing less i'm happy that we are getting there with uh tailwind css i'm happy let's say a gap of two and let's see 
I'm happy with that. And then what we want to do, okay, excuse me, what we want to do, we want to go to this container and display flex not now. Let's just copy these icons, okay, as they are also in this container, okay, and then put them next to this one, okay, next to next to this one okay let's see where they are exactly as you can see so now they need to be displayed flex okay let's go to the uh, parent container which is this one i think we can also copy this one where is that one this one okay flex yes item center yes justify between I think we can copy these styles, okay? I think we can copy these styles to where? To here. Okay, let's see. As you can see, exactly that. Okay, let's look at the padding. I think the padding is almost the same as this one and that one. The padding is also the same. Let's go back there and look for the padding. Padding, it's three and nine, okay. Come back here, padding, three and nine, okay. Okay, I'm happy with this, looks like it. Okay, we just have to put the search icon here and the dots okay that means um i don't delete the dots okay that means i have to add the search button or the magnifying glass the search icon okay let's go up go up go up go up where is it i saw it here let's go down the last time before we search it um, I sort of for that. Let's see. I hope I didn't pass it somewhere here. Here is it. Okay. Copy this, and then uh, we can even paste it here. Then we want this D. Very small. Copy. And then we want to go to our JSON object. Then from there, comma, I say class, because now this will need me to type C, and C in my keyboard doesn't work well, okay? Let's say class, and then from there, I can only leave here the dots, the dots and the class. Then delete here. Let's check and see. Okay. That is it. Okay. Um, what else? Guys, I think um, that's about it. Let me check uh, how long is this video. Okay. So it's getting there. Almost 19. Okay. Guys, I think um, let's end it here. As you can see, this is now starting to look more or less like it okay might not be that hundred percent but at least we are we are getting there i'm happy with this guys um let's continue a matthew singer t um, my target this month is to reach at least uh, 200 subscribers at the moment i'm sitting at 140 so i'm relying on you to help me with uh, liking this content uh, subscribing and also guys please share my content on facebook and also other ui and uh, software development groups that you might be in as you can see i'm sitting in 140 at least i want to be um, on 200 subscribers this month Thank you so much for visiting this page. I can't wait for you maybe next month or next of next year telling me that you got a job from what you learned um, in this YouTube channel or you've created your own next React.js.
project. Thank you so much. See you on the next one.